there's many quantum principles that applies at the macro level of our existence. Um, you can think of many different um, instances in your life where you did maybe like quantum jumps, <laughs> right? Um, where you struggled to get to a certain place you know, and then eventually all of a sudden it happens, right? All of a sudden you get it, right? Um, those are very much like quantum orbitals, if you would like. Um, you can think of it that way. It, 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 it's discrete, discrete changes, you know. They, it's not necessarily continuous, meaning like there's a buildup and then all of a sudden there's a jump right like the energy builds up and then there's a jump so that's that's one thing you can think of in terms of quantum effects at the at the larger scale but certainly uh the way um you know we experience the world is discrete so i mean the main thing that emerged from quantum physics, the reason why it's called quantum physics, is that quantities, um, discrete quantities, uh, seems to be uh, the fundamental um, building blocks of creation, meaning it's not smooth, but it's um, packets of quantities or uh, packets of energy and um, these packets um, go all the way down to the Planck scale and what I solved in physics is that the packets at the Planck scale is what makes up all of the material world into larger and larger and larger packets right so so when there's 10 to the 60th Planck's in a volume of space, then the packet is called a proton, right? 10 to the 60th Planck is a lot of Planck's. It's like trillions and trillions and trillions of Planck's, right? It's a lot of Planck. Because the Planck's are so small, but they're the little building block that makes up the proton. Then the pro and then, and then, then you go to the electron cloud, like the Bohr radius. Now you got the electron mass. This is the paper uh, Amira, Dr. Val Baker and I just published the same solution applies to the electron cloud and to all the table of elements. So really, everything you see in the material world in your awareness right now is actually as a result of agglomeration of discrete packets of energy at different scale all the way to your scale and the atomic world that you see around you. So it, it really, you know, there's actually nothing you're looking at that is not quantum. And, um, and that's what my equations prove, is that space-time at the large scale, although it appears smooth, is made of discrete parts. Uh, there are Planck oscillators, Planck spherical oscillators. So uh, just like water in a bath appears smooth, the surface appears smooth, right? It appears like a, like a continuous fluid. But actually, if you drill down and you look under a microscope, you see that it's made out of discrete parts that we call molecules and atoms.